if you do the math, okay, you know, just look, you look at all the Nobel Prize winners there ever were, some even in this room, and ask how many were Muslim? And it's like one, maybe two, okay? I, I think a second one was in economics, and the one we referred to was uh, an, uh, described earlier, the co-winner of the Nobel Prize with Professor Weinberg, uh, Abdu Salam. And he's not Middle Eastern Muslim, he's Pakistani Muslim, <clears throat> okay? Now, how many Nobel Prizes are won by Jews? It's like the fourth of the Nobel Prizes, okay? Some high fraction of the total. And then you look, how many Muslims are there in the world? It's like a billion Muslims. How many Jews? 15 million tops, okay? So you to ratio these numbers, had Islam not collapsed in its intellectual standing in the year 1100, and you just do the ratios, they would have every single Nobel Prize today. So the fact that it's not only just a few, it's near zero, it is deeply worrying. I'm concerned about what lost, what, 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 what brilliance may have expressed itself and did not in that community over the past thousand years.